It must be 10 past nine, something like that. And you're so excited, aren't you? I'm really excited. Got my torch. <laughs> so, so by the way, these torches, we'll put a link in the description. And if you buy this torch from Amazon, you'll do us a favor because we'll get like a, a 50p or something. So uh, if you want to do this, then please buy the torch through our link. <laughs> anyway, we're going to see what we can find. We're sea glass hunting in the dark, looking for uranium glass. Over there. It's pretty. We've got like a nice, the sun's gone down about 25 minutes ago. No, about 40 minutes ago. Uh, there's a bit of light in the sky still. If you didn't know, Charmouth is one of the places where sea glass is pretty plentiful in the south of the UK. So uh, Charmouth and the Warren, really, the two big, would you agree? Yeah. That we've visited are the two most um, prolific places to find sea glass. So with our torch, whew, it looks really bright in here. Um, we will see what we can see. Now I tried this once before at the Warren. Uh, if I manage to get that video out, then please have a look at that. Uh, I'll maybe put it in the end of this, uh, but actually already the torches are looking really good. If you've seen the Warren video, I actually didn't, didn't get that dark there, but this hopefully will do the trick. We've got to get down the beach a little bit. So who's going to be first to find the first bit of uranium glass? <laughs> Interesting actually, because these kind of fluoresce already. You see that? Is that bird poo? No, it's not bird poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that look. Oh yeah, that's cool. I'll tell you what, again, look at that. That is so cool. That. Uh, Oh, yeah. That white in that. Hold on, hold on, you should walk over a bit. Oh, no, you didn't. This is going to be a problem because we're going to pick up all this um, yellow and not the sea glass. Look at that. I don't know what it is, though. That's proper glowing. I think it's chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know. Oh, I don't pick it up. Uh, I think we need to get... Just a reminder, don't pick up anything you see on the beach. You never know what it might be. It's a stone again. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. We're going to get all these stones that are glowing actually quite a lot and not the sea glass, but... Um, I think we need to go along a bit further, don't we, to find... Yeah. ...where the majority of the glass is. Has this got different settings on it? What, the torch? Yeah, just turn it on and that's it. No, that's it. Okay. We need to go to the Warren. Hey? We need to go to the Warren. It's a bit of shell, I think, but I'm going to hang on to it because... See, that's another piece of just uh, rock and I think it is... I don't know what it is on there. I'm guessing it's some sort of quartz, maybe. But every half the stones here will fluoresce. We actually have yet to find, actually. Uh, where is it? There we go, look. There. Yeah. I don't know what it is. That's another bit. Of what? Of, of shell or something. Well, I thought we might have found something by now. Something that was actually glass. Right, I think we might finally be in luck. Look at that. Whoa, that is... And is it glass? I think it's glass, yeah. Wow. Our first piece, actually, tonight. Don't lose it, then. <laughs> we didn't bring the Mets out. I'll put it in my pocket. I don't, I don't think we'd be getting, like, tons of it. But... That's stone. Uh, where are we? I can't even see. Oh, there we go, look. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Is that another piece? How are you finding that? I've not found a bit yet. I don't know if that's a piece or not. See? 
put it in pocket. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait until we get back to the van to have a look. Oh, I did last time. I know we haven't found so much yet, but saying this is much better than what we did last or what I did last time because, hold on, what's that there? I think that's another piece, but a tiny piece um, just because it's darker. Oh. And you can actually see more of a distance, which is kind of what I want to do. You can cover more area. <coughs> what we can't see, of course, is where the, uh, the beach is. <laughs> because it's... Uh, See that it is kind hey, of glowing pink. Well, my found first one. piece. Yeah, it <laughs> be glowing. Look at that. It is glowing. There's a massive difference, isn't there, between the um, a tiny little piece. Tiny little piece. But it glows. Cool, your first piece. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put it in though. Put it in your pocket. Oh, that piece will get lost in my pocket. It's so small. I found another piece, another piece, a teeny tiny piece. <laughs> cool. I think we're two pieces each now. So as we get towards the tip end, hopefully we'll come across some more. Hopefully we'll find bigger pieces. Yeah, bigger pieces. This is a good entertaining thing for kids as well, you know, something to do with your kids in oh, school holidays. I'm looking at your uh, thing and thinking, what, you've got a bit of uh, I was thinking you've got like a, a fluorescent thing on your thing, but it's your mic. Ah, oh, yeah, it's my mic. <laughs> no, I was saying, you know, if you've got kids and you're looking for something to do in the school holidays, UV light down the beach. I love this. Oh, you've got another bit. Well, I don't know, but it lights up. So it may or may not be. Now, I've got to say, I'm surprised by two things. Hey? I'm surprised by two things on this beach. What? First thing is how much stuff shines up in the UV. Yeah. But the second thing is how little glass we're finding because. Like I expected, I mean, this, this beach is covered in glass. But we are finding like minute little pieces and I thought we'd have found a lot more than that. You see people that like post on Facebook, I saw somebody, this is ages ago mind, and they'd been down here and about a third of what they'd found, the white glass, turned out to be UV glass. Now, we've never found that much, have we? No, never. So, to me that sounds a little bit, I don't know, people find what they find, but I'm just surprised. Still a lot of beach to do, but we'll see how far we get. We could try the other side as well, but the torch itself is actually working really nicely. That actually, I think is a piece of plastic of some sort. But since I've got it, since I've picked it up and put it in my pocket, we can remove it from the beach. If I've picked up a bit of plastic, I'm not going to put it down again. I can see the stars. Can you? On your trousers. Oh. Can you see the stars too? Bit of plastic. How far are you walking down? I don't know. Uh, I'll keep away from that cliff a bit. Eh? Keep away from that cliff. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further because these rocks are getting big and... OK, well, let's turn around then. I don't want to fall over. So we're now going to head back towards the van. We must have walked, I don't know, two, three hundred metres up here. We've been on the beach for like half an hour, 40 minutes. So uh, we're going to head back towards the van. Nope, stone. Seeing what we can find on the way. 
we'll have a little look in the van in a minute and see what we've got. What is that? That looks like it's pink. That's a shell. Oh. That's interesting. Don't know whereabouts we are. You what? Don't know whereabouts we are. On the beach still. Oh, I know that. Well, we'll keep walking till we get to the end. We're not that far off now, I don't think. I think it's good how much of the beach you can see with this, actually, because it works. The idea itself is good. But the amount of uranium glass on this appears to be not very much. And there in the distance is Lyme Regis and Charmouth is actually, that's like the, the cafe at Charmouth that we're heading towards where we've parked. Hopefully we can get out because they say they close the gates at nine. It's now gone 10. We've still got to find somewhere to park tonight to sleep. So we are now back home. It's been actually a couple of weeks since you saw the footage that you just seen. And you're gonna be so impressed what we just found. I mean, you obviously can only see in the dark what fluoresces, and I'm just showing you this, and you might be blown away. <laughs> Hopefully, you're not too shocked. Here you go. I told you not to be shocked. <laughs> so look, so basically, I don't know what these are, but they're probably stones. That might actually be a piece of glass, uranium glass. That may all piece be a piece of uranium glass. Another piece. Don't know what that is. Obviously rubbish. Bit of stone. Is that a shell? That's that is a shell, yes. It kind of glows pink or something. It's actually a bit light here, so I don't know if this will work or not. Yeah, uh, look, glows pink. Oh so it does. That's actually, actually that really... might not be a bit of uranium glass at all. No. So that look. is really cool, I like that pink. That's obviously not glowing either. So that's the sum of our uranium glass. Now, well, come on, the focus has gone. There we go, focus. Yeah, that bright glows really brightly. So does that. I can't get over how that shell glows. It's like I said, I told you not to be shocked. <laughs> um, and we were pretty disappointed with that, weren't we? Yeah, very disappointed. I mean, to such an extent, it's been two weeks. That's been on my bedroom um, cabinet for two weeks, and that's the first time we've really looked at it until I edited the video, and I need to just add this bit in. So since then, actually, we've done two other night sea glass hunts, haven't we? Yeah. And uh, they're be coming up very soon. So if you're interested in what we can actually find on the beach with a with a torch, wherever the torch went. Yeah. Well, that's only the little one. That's the little one. But if you're interested in what you can find on a beach with a UV light, then maybe hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, and obviously we'll put the link in the description for the torch we used, which is actually really good. Uh, but a little tip, take batteries with you. We've just discovered this on the last two trips. Yes. Them? Batteries don't last long in them. No. So take yourself a spare set of batteries. But like I say, if you do uh, want to buy one, want to try this, please use our link out of the description because we'll get a few pence and it all helps. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Say. Yes. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Right. It's like very disappointing. Like we spent so long on the beach looking for the uranium glass at night. I don't know what time it was now. I can't remember. It was about half past 10, 11. But right like just to find them little pieces, I can't do anything with. But actually I am pleased with that shell. Although I can't do anything with it. It's nice. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Remember hit the subscribe button, thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you think about our finds. And uh, have you done UV sea glass hunting at night? <laughs>